So this next reaction is the Friend Zone short film, and this one is by Miles Gray. Now we all know we hate the whole Friend Zone situation that's been going on around here, but yeah. Let's check it out in five, four, three, two. Off the book. Too. Miles, I had a really great time, but me and my ex are trying to work things out. I really just don't see you in that way. Do you think we could just be friends? You know the statement, once you go black, you don't go back? I really don't think I'm ready to make that commitment yet. I'm sorry. I think we should just be friends. Sure. Thanks, Miles. You're the best. Hi, I'm Miles Graves. As you can see, I'm getting shot down by multiple girls. Not at the same time, of course. I'm not a man whore. I've continually been shut down by the female gender. And being shut down, I've been put into the deadly but unavoidable, the friend zone. Unfortunately, me being an expert in the friend zone, not by choice, of course, I'll take you through the daily life of what it takes to get into this disappointing zone. Face one, the meat. You start the day off as any. Shut alarm off, get out of bed. The owl. Train the snake, get dressed, eat breakfast, and leave to the hell hole we call school. I call this the meeting, obviously, because it's the first time you notice it. Then, as if you were given a mission from God Himself, you enter phase two, investigation. Investigation. Hey, man. Oh, yo, what's up, man? Uh, you know that girl right there? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's Liz Stevenson. She's into photography or whatever. Photography, huh? Yeah. This is the right, phase thanks, where you figure yeah, no out everything you can about the girl, like name, age, availability, and if single, previous boyfriends. Which brings us to our next phase, phase, phase four, <laughs> initial, oh, speech. Four. initial speech. With good luck today, I've been bestowed the honor of being in a group with Liz. This is the chance you have to talk to the girl, but be smooth about it. What's your name? Miles, Miles Graves. Thank you, Mr. Graves. My pleasure. Smooth. For all you perverts out there, thinking I'm doing something else, no, I'm not. If you weren't thinking that, I guess that makes me the pervert. But that's besides the point. The next phase, sad but true, is phase four, Facebook. This is what we're all guilty of. You request the girl, you patiently wait for a like my status post, and while you wait, you sit there and devise a reason why you could possibly chat this. Happy on Facebook as well. Just in case. Just in case you know what I'm talking about. That makes me the pervert. But that's besides the point. The next phase, sad but true, is phase four, Facebook. This we're all guilty of. You request the girl, you patiently wait for a like my status post, and while you wait, you sit there and devise a reason why you could possibly chat this girl. Not stalking. By God's grace, you will be put in a situation where you will be forced to have a discussion Miles, with this girl. Liz, you guys are gonna be partners. Guess that means it's me and you. Let's try to get some work done today. Sounds like a plan. Right, I'll give you my number. Okay. There you go. Thanks. And there it is, the first sign of hope, her number. With this, you go into the phase you never thought would come. Phase six, hanging out. <laughs> now, I know you're probably thinking, this isn't hanging out, loser. Well, I will kindly reply with, shut up and let me have this, please. Man, this is such a pain. Well, the faster we get it done, the faster we can put it away. Witty, quirky, and cute. Without these, you probably won't make it to the next phase. Damn it. What's up? My cat peed on the carpet again. Your cat peed on your carpet? Sometimes I just wish it would go away. <laughs> you should pee on it. Who pees on a cat? People that don't own cats anymore. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta head home, so maybe I'll give your advice a try. 100% guaranteed to work. Okay. <laughs> now the next phase will be your uprising and downfall in a way. You will gain so much <laughs> hope and confidence, it will blind you from the signs of your destruction. Phase seven. 
the liking process. Now this phase includes a beginning, middle, and end. I'll break each of them starting from the beginning, of course. Now in this stage, the first obvious thing you do is what every teenager is doing nowadays, text. Idiot, doesn't even know what's coming. You're probably thinking at this point, how did I get this far? Or she definitely likes me. If you are thinking these things, you have entered the middle. You probably have all these inside jokes, hang out all the time and thinking that life is so good. Well, you're wrong. Shit's about to hit the fan, my friend. Fool. You wake up and you're feeling good. You decide today is the day you tell her how you feel. Throw on your favorite outfit, brush your teeth extra hard, and throw on that good spray. How y'all feel? Cause I feel so awesome. How you feel? Awesome. I guess that's awesome. Shorty, you fine and your body is awesome. Wanna roll? Awesome. Well, let's go. Awesome. Yeah. Hands in the sky like A-W-E. Some call me awesome. Some call me busy. Honey's call me awesome. Gator on my shirt. What did it look awesome? Jesus Christ, I'm good. Please don't run. Oh, the thing where it's like, I'm he's a screamer. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never even heard that. That's no, like, that's the like, version where it's like, and then it's like a waterfall that goes up. Okay, well, you're really uh, weird, so You really don't know that commercial. Yeah, we're going to go. This is it. You played it in your head a million times, and you think it's flawless. Hey. Nice shades. Thanks. Uh, there's something I have to tell you. What's up? All right, look. Walk up to her and say something like this. Hey, insert girl's name here. I really like you, and whenever I'm around you, I think I could do anything. You mean a lot to me, and I was wondering if we could be something more. That's really sweet and all, Miles, but... And there it is, my friend. The end. The part where everything in your life means nothing at all. And believe it or not, this isn't even the worst part. You then enter the next phase. Phase eight, getting over the bitch. <laughs> this would be one of your weakest moments in your life. You get me, Taylor Swift. You get me so much, that bitch. At least it was for me. <laughs> With this phase, you would be doing a range of multiple things such as drown yourself in Taylor Swift music, <laughs> contemplate suicide, That's how I feel, man. Whenever I stuck in the friend zone, they like, hey, you know, you know, hey, um, hey, girl, you know what I feel about you, you know, you're you're a great person, you know, I like you. I mean, you know, I just wanna, I just wanna get to know you better, like, like, sure, we could be just friends, and that's how it is. So, I'll suicide person could have helped me that much. Now I know you're gonna act, I know you're gonna tell me, hey, but suicide is never the answer. She want she wanted to be your friend at all, and it ain't worth it. I'm sure that. Uh, uh. If it definitely worked it, do I deserve this to be in the friend zone? Because all this, the, because the whole, you know, being nice and all, it's just painful. Just painful. As it should. Because. I think it's worth for me just killing myself. His moments in your life. You get me, Taylor Swift. You get me so much, that bitch. At least it was for me. With this phase, ah. you would be doing a range of multiple things, such as ah. drown yourself in Taylor Swift music, <sighs> contemplate suicide. I would just kill myself immediately. Yeah. Unfortunately, your journey to the friend zone is complete. You will no longer have a shot with this girl, unless you become a famous movie star like Will Smith, but we know the odds of that.
Hitting ground zero is hard, but you'll do better each day. Don't fret too much, because if you're like every other guy, you'll enter the last phase of this big 10-step process. Phase 10, repeat. <laughs> Try to like find a good amount of relationships, but the only thing is, you'd still be stuck in the friend zone instantly. Besides, there's nothing else. There's nothing else you can do besides just just kill yourself. Well, just commit it suicide because there's nothing else you can do besides you know have a last day of heartbroken this have one last time for your family your friends and probably just just go for it man it ain't worth a damn thing of trying to find a relationship. It just always happens every single time before that. I mean, it just feel like, like, yeah, you thought you was being too nice to a person, but you just feel like something that avoided, like, something try to avoid you or something. I mean, it always happened every single time, man. Like, it still ain't worth a damn thing to try to, um, you know, try, still try to get, find somebody, your true love, to make it come true man but it's still not real it still wasn't real so yeah for me like I said if this ever happens to me while well, when some lady wants to be a friend I, I remember this, this split my fucking wrist or this choked myself to death. I know it ain't worth, worth it, uh, still had me trying to find a relationship. And I'm still trying my best to do it, and hopefully it'll happen sooner or later, but, yeah, so, let me know, comment down below this ever happens to you when someone or something trying to friend shown you for men and women out there if somebody friends on you like that just 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 like just commit suicide man like it ain't worth it at all so yeah, man, uh, comment down below. 